guys this is Kim with Abundant Life Tarot and I am going to do a video series on my deck collection but instead of just dividing it up by tarot decks and oracle decks I decided to break it up by um, publishers maybe change it up and break it up by um, parts of the world where the decks are coming from maybe my indie tarot decks versus my indie uh, tarot tarot decks and then also um, you will see probably some of my decks um, in parts of my collection um, videos you might see them in another collection video that I'm doing because um, they might meet the criteria for that particular collection so um, this is threefold as to why I'm doing this uh, first I would like to um, show my tarot peeps, my friends in the tarot community, um, primarily virtual really, with people in the world, um, my collection. So we can have something to discuss and they can see what I have. And usually it links to me being able to see what videos they have on their collection. So that's one reason. Another reason is I would like to show my potential clients and my current clients what decks I'm using right now, what I've got going on at my fingertips. And then finally, um, I wanna do an inventory of the decks that I have. Um, because it's a good idea to keep track of the decks that you have because they can quickly amass to a massive collection where you might even have duplicates. And right now I do have one duplicate, but that was an intentional duplicate to have a backup. So yeah, I'm trying to be very mindful of that. So let's get started. This first video will be dealing with my Australian decks, my Oracle decks that are, are and I guess one tarot deck that is from um, Australia and actually it's two publishers that will be featured um, today um, it's Blue Angel and then the Rockpool Publishing Company and what I love about the Aussie decks um, if you will is that they are soulful um, there's a, an element of just like doing that deep healing work that all-knowing connection. I don't know what it is about it, but I love my Aussie decks and they will probably remain in my collection for a long time to come. So um, why don't we get started here? Uh, first up, we have the Soulful Woman collection or Oracle, excuse me, Soulful Woman guidance cards. And it's an Oracle deck. Uh, the publisher is blue angel um and let's see um it's got multiple artists that participated in creating this deck um yes it is very feminine based but that's okay i mean anyone in my opinion can use a deck you just you know take it for what it is and apply it to your question or what have you and so here are the backs, glossy. And we have this one, self-renewal. Let me back that up. Sorry, I'm getting used to this new angle. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. Okay. Self-renewal. And it has a message at the bottom, and then it has a beautiful image at the top, and a wonderful guidebook um, that has the card image in black and white, and then the meaning, and then a card affirmation that you can read. And, you know, what I do with affirmations sometimes is I have beautiful, colorful, three by five post-it notes that I stick on my bathroom mirror and I will take it and make it my own for the week. And so that's what I really like about the Soulful Woman guidebook. Um, I primarily use this deck for my own personal readings. I do not use this deck for readings for um, others. This is my weekly oracle um, that I may do for myself. That says service is co-creation. This one says Grace, Sanctuary, 
And you can see the different art styles, but that does not bother me at all. And again, I just love reading it. I stick it um, in my bathroom mirror, like there's an, a lip or an edge where on my mirror, and the mirror takes up one whole wall, um, you know, width-wise. And so I put uh, my favorite oracles or the oracle for the week that comes on my mirror so I can focus on it when I'm in the bathroom. We have the flow of partnership. I embrace my body. Ageless beauty. Try not to get a glare. Uniquely myself. Feminine law of attraction. Infinite self. That is gorgeous. Being with discomfort. Wow. It says, At times of discomfort, I courageously seek my soul essence, which is clear, pure, and luminous. It's gorgeous. Inner wellspring. And the reason why I kept this one out is I do weekly readings for myself um, on usually Saturday nights or Sunday mornings. And I put all the cards from my Oracle decks that are only for my viewing um, out on the bathroom seal, if you will. And my husband's able to see it. I have a deck um, you'll see in another video um, that primarily I think speaks to him, more to him than to me sometimes, which is fine. I love that. But, oops, didn't mean to turn that here. But this card came up last week self-renewal and all the week prior I have been focusing on needing to pull out my fall wardrobe and move my summer wardrobe away and purge out a lot of clothes I wasn't wearing or that I couldn't fit anymore and I did it I just one day I just came home and did it and it was during the week that this card came up and this speaks to decluttering and to releasing old things that you no longer need or no longer serves you. So I love that. I love that. This is friendship. This says listening to my body. And you can see how for a woman, the messages are really healing. Following my truth. Anger as my sacred ally. Loving from the inside. Power of my voice. Okay, so I'm not going to show all of the cards here, but you get the drift. And again, the, the guidebook is just wonderful. Like um, it shows the artwork index and it does break down the uh have sections for the authors as well as all the artists who contributed their artwork which is wonderful and the guidebook messages go more in depth for the card so i know some people don't really you know resonate with this deck but i really do i'm so happy it's in my collection and again it is for my own personal readings more so than anyone else just gonna take a quick sip of my coffee Next up, we have another Blue Angel deck. And this particular deck has started to slowly grow on me. I love Alana Fairchild's decks. I love her writing style. I love what she has to say. But I have to be honest, this deck I struggled with. I know that some of the artwork was recycled um, from another deck I've heard. Um, which is fine. I'm not really particular about that. I can see why others are though, but I'm not particular about it. But the messages, I don't know if I was just, but it just wasn't hitting me at that point. And then one day I was, oh, well, I also have to say, I also tried selling this deck a few times and I couldn't sell it. And so I'm like, dang, you know, I don't want to give it away and I really don't want to trade it. So I said, okay, well, let me sit with it. And I sat with it. And then 
um, the messages really started to speak to me. As I started to grow in my tarot uh, practice, this deck started to started to speak to me more and I'm grateful for that. So um, like this one, spiritual service. I was working with that this week. But here's the card backs. Also glossy, it's Blue Angel. And I believe the artwork is by Mario Duguay, Duguay. And then of course, Alana Fairchild is the writer. And this deck is speaking to the light worker in all of us, the people who are the empaths, the creative beings, the ones who do the healing work. Um, so I, I know that this is good for readings who I'm doing for like other healers, um, but it's also another deck that is primarily for me. You know what I'm saying? It's not really for the clients, it's for myself. And actually, when I think about it, with the exception of the the coming decks I'll show you, a lot of the Blue Angel decks are like those kind of readings that I need to do for my own soul searching. So I don't know if that's the same for others, but for the, that's been my experience. Not so much readings for others, but readings for myself. Here we have Grounding. That's gorgeous. She's almost, she's blending into the earth and there's lotus and it's got deep roots and she's naked and ah, just adore it. We have the heart transmission. Messages in the number 1111 and coincidentally enough, today is November 11, 2017. We have master healing. Six Ray of Devotion, Cosmic Heart, Cosmic Christ, an invitation to connect, unplug from mass consciousness, initiation by water, alchemical mutation, First ray of power. Fifth ray of intellectual knowledge. Ascension, the rainbow bridge. Dark night of the soul. Not, so it's not all frilly and light and airy. It actually deals with some deep stuff. Trust in the plan. There's any life path. Oh, this is gorgeous. Star Child. Um, Earth Healing. Love that one. And this one is one of my favorites. Soul Child. Um, so again, beautiful cards, wonderful deep messages. I'll show you the guidebook. There's the guidebook again, a typical blue angel. What's cool about this one is it has some different spreads, I believe, and um, it talks about the invocations and Let's see, it of course has the meanings, the card meanings, which has a black and white image, the keyword, um, some italicized um, words here. Um, and that's, she's, that's the thing about Alana, like she goes deep into the readings and into the meaning. So I can't be mad at her for that, but you will have to it's, consult the book for a little bit I mean, you can intuitively look at, like, look, here's grounding. Coincidentally enough, this came up. And it, it says, uh, you long for the free and open worlds of spirit and light, yet you also yearn to experience the healing power of divine joy of sacred sound and living color. You are meant to bring joy, beauty, and comfort to this world. 
to share the spiritual light. To do so, you need grounding. Your dreams want you just as much as you want them. Grounding helps you bring your dreams to life in your world for the benefit of many. And then they, she goes into, you know, what this card is about, you know, where you are in this, how you can, you know, really ground, what may result in you grounding, and then an invocation um, that you can say to bring that uh, the element of this card into your experience. Beautiful. And so I'm glad I kept it. I'm glad that it didn't work out that I sold it uh, because now it is something I'm enjoying working with. All right, next up. We have the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana for Fairchild. And I'm not going to go too much in depth with this because there's so many videos of, with this deck feature. So we don't really need to. There are the backs. It's another Blue Angel deck, another Alana Fairchild. But the artist is by Autumn Sky Morrison. And it is just amazing it is a deep deck i usually do or just use these for myself although i have used these for others in readings you know in in the past but primarily i like it again for myself for my own spiritual self-work i would say it's going beyond normal look at that relax the hold of darkness and be at cause that's a mouthful. <laughs> Against the grain. Bring it into form. And again, there's so many videos out there on this deck that I'm not going to bore you with a rehashing of it. But it, it just it's amazing. You can get a lot of good hits when doing readings for yourself and others from it without the guidebook, but you got to read the guidebook too. It's just amazing. This is releasing allegiances. Love that. With the little bee, busy bees on her. Oh. And so you have, again, just like an, any blue angel book, you have the image, the keywords, and then this time it just goes straight into the message and into maybe a, a healing process or I think that's, oh yeah, it's just the healing process. There are spreads and card layouts and how to use the deck, um, information about her other decks. So love this deck, which is why I thought I was gonna instantly fall in love with the Lightworker Oracle but I didn't instantly fall in love with it, but now I'm falling in love with it. So there you go. Next up, two, um, this is twofold. This is now um, with Rockpool Publishing. And I've already done a review of this deck, Heal Yourself Reading Cards by Anna Seagal. Intuitive guidance to transform your soul. Not gonna bore you too much with the details of this deck. I'll just show you a few cards in the book. And then we have the Cosmic Reading Cards Activation Cards for the Soul by Nari Anastasia. I didn't get the other um, reading oracle cards from Rockpool Publishing, which I believe is the Sacred Power ones, because the images didn't really call to me at this point in my journey, and I'm okay with that. These two, though, are wonderful. I do um, use these in my general weekly readings or i'm gonna start probably incorporating these from time to time i've been using these primarily for my my personal readings for myself but then these for readings for others and also my own personal readings but mostly for others um it just is super intuitive super um predictive and i enjoy that so anyways let's Take a look here. We have the guidebook and this wonderful um, magnetic box. I took the little container that I wonder if this one has. I might have taken it out as well on this one. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, I did. Because it was being a pest. But wonderful guidebook, full page representation in color um, 
it gives action steps on how to bring the healing into your life. Um, a little message up here at the top and then the meaning. Just a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, achingly beautiful deck. The cards are easy to shuffle despite their large and glossy self, <laughs> size and self. Um, just really beautiful. Backs are ornate and gorgeous. Say what you mean. Home. Selling out. Victim consciousness. Temptation. Inner child. Sadness. Procrastination. And then soulmate. Love. Take off your mask. Healing. Alchemy. So I'm not gonna oops, sorry, I'm not gonna keep going here because for time's sake. Because I already did a review of this deck and I still love it. I still use it. And yeah, it's wonderful. And then we have the cosmic reading cards. Again, there are now some reviews coming out. And maybe I might do a review in the future with this one. I'm still using it. I didn't want to do an unboxing for this one. I just kind of wanted to dive in and start using it for myself. And once I've used it for a while, then I'll do a review. Uh, but for now, let's just take a quick look at the backs. Gorgeous. And these are upside down. Golden crown. Free spirit. Self-worth. Knowing your self-worth is uber important. That's upside down. Walk your truth. Choices, which kept coming up for me a few times this week. It's funny. New chapter. Gorgeous and stunning cards. I mean, the, the inside of the box is even stunning. It says celebration. Balance. Shadow self, compassion, cosmic connection, oh, intuition. Can you see the eye? It's deep. Okay, unconditional love, integrity. So I'm not going to keep going because, again, there's other videos out there. And I may in the future do a more in-depth review of this one. But trust and believe it is a great deck that I'm enjoying so far um, since I got it maybe about a week or two ago. So more to come on that. And then finally, finally, <sighs> the dreams of Gaia. If you see it's worn, I keep it in its box. The Dreams of Gaia Tarot by Raven Thielen. And um, this is a Blue Angel deck. I know that some people love this deck or some people hate it. But I personally love it. Sometimes I don't, I'll have stretches where I don't use it for a long period of time. And then I'll feel bad. And I'm like, oh, should I get rid of it? And then I'll come to it and then wonder, why did I not use it regularly? Because... I can intuitively read with this deck and, and also use the book. And I also can use this with readings for others and then readings for myself. It is a deep deck and I enjoy sitting down with it and basically having a conversation. Like I could just shuffle and just think of the questions or think of things and the cards will jump out and it'll be right on point. And I just really connect it with it right out of the box. Um, emotions. 
King of Fire. It is based on its own system, emotions, intellect, but it does have elements. It does have a major arc arcana or arcana. Um, Queen of Earth. This one is a favorite of mine. Two of Water, which is like Two of Cups. So there are some things that are like Rider Weight and then some things that are not, which is okay. The Youth, one of the major Arcana cards. The Sage. Perception. I love that one. Choice. This is like the full card. You're at choice. Queen of Water. The Child. Queen of Fire. I think this is Four of Water with the bubbles. So, I mean, oh, Integrity. Just every time I want to keep going. Masculine, feminine, it's like a fire. Such a beautiful deck. Gosh, there's the guidebook. Oh, sorry. I'm still getting used to this. Okay, there's the guidebook here. Again, like Blue Angel has the um, car representation here. Keyword, or well, the actual little chosen words here. Keywords, endings, beginnings cycles transformation transmutation change growth that's for its death card key phrases like go of the past the future is unknowable change is unavoidable the meaning then the meaning just goes on and on then you can have the meaning of, as in the form of the past the present and the future then up the potential blockage which is a reverse uh, car meaning so and that's for the majors um, and then for the minor arcana, it just has the keywords, key phrases, and meaning, and potential blockage, which is the reversal. So I know for some people they don't resonate with this deck. It doesn't. They don't connect to it. Some of people don't like the system. Some don't like the card stock. I all the things that people don't like about it is what makes me like it. I like the gold gilding on it. I don't normally like gilding, but I like it on this deck. I like the edition that I got where it actually has a little design on the back. I know there's a the first edition had the just this is black and I like that there's actually some depth and a little design on the back. And I just really resonate and connect with this deck and I will continue to use it so there you guys have it thank you so much for watching this video um, what Aussie decks are you using or have you used do you use any of these decks um, I would love to hear from you I would love to know what what you're checking out you know from the Aussie world I live in California and Australia seems worlds away but I feel so connected to the Aussie vibe because of these decks. And I just have to say, these creators really have it going on. So I am in deep gratitude for them. And I'm in deep gratitude for you all coming along on this journey with me today, watching this video. And uh, yeah, probably even taking the time to, to chat with me from, you know, on this video or another. So many blessings to you. See you in the next video. Take care.